Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Jim here. Appreciate you spending your time with me. Today's uh, video, I'll be going over installing the roof rack cross rails for my 2021 Nissan Rogue. It has the cross, the racks, I should say, built in to the vehicle already. And I purchased these crossbars from Nissan directly. I was having difficulty finding any aftermarket ones, so better to take the ones that they offer and uh, guaranteed pretty much to fit. Um, comes with the eight screws in the bag. Takes the number 30 torques. And it comes with the sheet to tell you how to go and get the instructions on how to install them, which I have done already. So again, uh, we're going to be going over installing these uh, cross rails on our 2021 Nissan Rogue SB with the factory installed roof racks. So let's get going. See, it comes with these roof racks already installed here with the covers on them. And you have to pop these covers off in order to access the mounting points for the roof racks. I am going to use a multi-tool and basically in the instructions it says to use a uh, interior uh, accessory tool however I don't have one of those so I have the next best thing in my opinion so pretty much you push it down in here rock it to the right and out comes the covers it's one down Two, and I'll take those off before I lose them. <laughs> so here we go again. Just take that in there, push it in. There's a little tab in there. Rock it back and it comes right out. You see that little tab there? So you basically you're going to go in here and push that back. Leverage it up against the side here and push it back and they pop right out. Let's get the back one here. Again, push it in. Rock it forward and you put your nails under there. Again, the covers come right out. So, according to the instructions, see the bars are marked right front here right front left front so we're gonna start with that and I go this way okay. I'm just gonna set those apart here Send them across. And if you notice, it has a rubber grommet here, or a rubber seal that goes up against your plates here. I'm assuming so it doesn't scratch it or it gets a nice seal. So you go across, put it in there, and you come down here. And you know what? It would help if you put them in the right way. <laughs> right front. See, look at that. Fits so much nicer. Yeah. All right. It's kind of right on the top there. And if we get up here a little bit higher, you can see the bolt holes here and here. Right front. Got that. <laughs> so you can see the bolt holes should line up right by with the bottom. And it looks good. All right. So we're going to go over here and get some screws. Uh, here we are. If 
Feed one in there. Feed the other in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the trusty socket ran. Let's go in. Give them a little bit of preliminary tidying before we torque them down. Not tighten them too much because you still got to work on the other side over there. So you want to be able to, uh, in fact, we're going to back these off just a little bit. We have a little bit of room to uh, maneuver and lift up that other side without putting any undue pressure on this rail. All right, so let's go over to the other side. So let's get these fed in there. Again, I left a little bit of slack over there. I can get those started. And left front, as it says across here, would be the driver's front. <laughs> and get them started. And just in there, make sure that rubber seal is looking good and not folded over on itself, creating a nice seal there. Over the other side. Tighten those up a little bit more. Again, check that rubber seal. Looks pretty good. Looks like it's in there. You can see it right in there. Okay. Kind of tied them down. We'll come back through here shortly and uh, torque them down to the specifications. Okay. Now you're just going to repeat the same thing. The ones in the back. Okay. Grab the other bar. And again, left rear, right rear. So it would be this way. And this is the right side, passenger side, and the left. That way would be the driver's side. And you can also see it has a forward on the front there. I'll tell you which way to go. You can see it right there. You can see it there. Okay, forward. <laughs> It's a lot better when you, you know, follow the directions, doesn't it? And set it down on the channel. Make sure your rubber ground seal there is working down. Doesn't get folded over. Creates a nice seal under there. And just feed your screws in there. Again, leave some slack. I have to line them up. I just put them in here. And kind of go and look inside. Just kind of fall right in. Again, get them started. But don't tighten them down all the way. <laughs> yeah. And get a little bit of snow with the socket wrench. Okay. And it says a torque at 6.6 .6 to 7.4 foot pounds. All right. And torque wrench, you just wait till it clicks. A little more even pressure on this side. So you go through in each one, put all those on, and you're good to go. Looking good so far. The only other thing would be left is you got your covers. 
So your cover is going to come up here. Right now they're in the unlocked position. You can see how they sit in here. These posts go inside the holes there. This one over there. So you bring them up. Might help to wipe. Make sure you got the right side though, huh? Right rear. Right rear. <laughs> Go down here, go around there, and then you take them and lock them on. Look at that. And you got the remainder in the box here. And again, <laughs> look inside. This one is left rear. So that would be this one. Again, just take it down, lock it in place, it goes around, and lock them on. Look at that, looking good, looking good. All right, not bad at all, actually. All right, so you pretty much see how it's done. Kind of go up into the front and do the two front ones there, and we'll get those all tightened up just like we just did here, and we'll uh, show you the completed project. Stand by. Okay, so I went around and tightened the bolts here and here as per the specifications and the instructions. Here, one's up here. I got the covers ready. Again, you can see they got a nice rubber seal underneath. I'm not going to need that to put the covers on. Again, make sure you pay attention to the markings here. And it also has directional arrows that it should face forward. So again, right front and the arrow, see the arrow there, it's facing forward, okay? And here, see the arrow there, it's facing forward. Okay, arrow, forward. <laughs> and it marks on the left, left driver's side, right passenger side okay again i went down torqued them down for the specifications now i'm just going to go and put the covers on okay and the covers have the same thing inside see face forward left right or left yeah left left rear i should say and again left rear left rear face forward and again the little pins here nubs however you want to refer to them go down inside these holes here and then the cover comes over and you see these two little teeth here? They clamp around or go around the rail itself, the crossbar. So again, in the unlock position, make sure it's in the unlock position by the slit here. It's facing the unlock paddle lock. Then you just kind of put them down in there like that. And you can see it's still above. Okay. And then, see, they just clip on. That's it. And then you grab your old trusty flathead screwdriver here and you come by and you lock them off again I don't need the ladder for this so again look inside left front facing forward is that way there's a little forward right there at the bottom okay again make sure this is in the unlock position get the little pins down inside the holes right there those little pins Right there. Put them down in. Maybe. Okay. There you go. Now they're down in there. And again, little clips. See? They go over the crossbar right there. Then you come by, take your crusty flathead screwdriver, turn the screw till it lines up with the lock looking paddle lock emblem right there. Okay? One thing I did notice, so say for example, you have to take this back off again. You take your flathead here and you push it underneath right there, just barely underneath, between the rail and the plastic cover. See how it lifts right there? It lifted it up off. So take your finger, put it underneath there, every fingernail, whatever, the tip of your finger and hold it up. Come inside on this side, do the same thing. See, and they pop up. And then you can just pop them right off. See? Okay? Seems easy, don't it? 
I've done it a few times. Okay, so again, back down, around, screwdriver, turn to the right, line it up with the lock emblem right there is good. Okay, now we're on. This thing's pretty snug. Looks pretty good. You can see that. Yeah. Not bad. Let's take it from the front. Yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. I like them. I like the way they look. It says 130 pounds. Should be good enough. They look good. Never from the back. Yeah, see there? Looks good. I like them pretty strong, pretty sturdy. I'm going to be using them to uh, carry a kayak. Two person kayaks going to go across there. So it's about 80 pounds. It should be good. I'm also going to use the back and possibly the front to tie off our tent. We have a Napier SUV tent, and when the boot comes over, it needs a place to uh, grab a hold there so the boot will stay on and stay snug to the vehicle. So, and that'll be in another video. So I appreciate your time today. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much. I try to want to get through this and uh, do the best I can. It didn't take long at all. I was very surprised. Uh, very straightforward. Again, you have to look up the instructions on the internet. There's an instruction sheet in the box uh, that kind of goes over that. And I believe I still have it here. Right there. See? Yep. So, you know, Infinity is my Nissan. So, you want the Nissan, Nissan-TechInfo.com. It'll ask you to plug in your vehicle, accessory installation instructions, the year, and so on. And then it'll come up with a, a document to show you how to install it. Okay. Hey, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And again, if you like what you see, uh, hit that like button. If not, I appreciate your time. I wanted to spend some time with you and show you. Uh, I look at it as an adventure. It is. Never done that before. So here's my first time for doing that. On to the things. Hey, best to you. Keep living each day. Take care now. Bye-bye.